hold it right there. Vault 81 security. I don't know where you got your hands on a working pit boy, but you better start talking. Vault 81? You're still up and running? Yeah. Pretty good observation there, genius. Now about that pit boy. I got it in Vault 111. Vault 111? Haven't heard of that one yet. And what sort of business are you looking to take care of here in 81? What's with the third degree? It's called protocol. Think we just let anyone in here? Think again. Who is it, Edwards? Ma'am. Some new Commonwealth traveler. Not one of our usual traders. Well, if someone wants in, they can earn it like everyone else. Let me speak to them. Sorry about that. Officer Edwards here was just doing his job. I'm sure you can understand our need for caution. For newcomers, we like to operate on exchange. You help us, we help you. But I'm a fellow vault dweller. Can't you just let me in? Excuse me, ma'am. Before you arrived, he did say he was from Vault 111. And he's in possession of a working pit boy. Is that so? I'm going to allow it. Edwards, open the door and make the announcement. Officer Edwards and I will meet you at the entrance. My guys have been working doubles for weeks now. How's your head feeling today? Uh, still a little pounding. Right getting Think better. I know that? Nothing Let's I can't handle. Nice can. to know it wasn't That's another migraine kicking in. Right. Tell me about it. Cal would bust but my ass if I called out again, too. Like Excuse me. Another outsider? What they let you in for? What's with the attitude? I don't trust outsiders. We didn't need your help before. We don't need it now. The Overseer never should have opened up the vault to your kind. What do you have against outsiders? All outsiders do is take advantage of you. You're nothing but selfish animals. How do you know? Did something happen? Yeah, you could say that. I met a girl from the outside. Said she was going to take me away from all this. I gave her all my money so she could find us a place to live out there. I don't hear from her in months till a passing trader mentioned she saw her with some man in Diamond City. You outsiders are nothing but liars. Only looking out for yourselves. Sorry about that. As you'll soon see, we have a few maintenance projects underway. Gwen McNamara, Overseer. Welcome to Vault 81. We've never encountered a fellow Vault Dweller. Is this Vault 111 you mentioned still operational? No. Not anymore. I'm sorry to hear that. What happened there? Did something go wrong? They had us cryogenically frozen in these pods, but something malfunctioned. Oh my god. All those lives lost due to some malfunction? That's unacceptable. I suppose we've been lucky. Here, we pride ourselves on having maintained a successful vault over these past two centuries. We'd like to be completely self-sufficient. But there are certain resources we can't provide ourselves. Why do you keep yourself so isolated? Why not? We have warm beds, clean clothes, a solid roof over our heads. Our food and water are radiation free. We don't deal with the elements or raiders. We're safe here. And for some, that safety and stability is what counts. You should be wary. The Commonwealth is a dangerous place. Exactly why we rely on a select few traders for our needs. Now, I have work to do. Ma'am, what about the dog? I'll allow it. Security is already extra mindful as it is. If he's lived this long in the Commonwealth, I'm sure he's chosen his friends wisely. If you need anything else, I'll be in my office. I got two words on what I expect out of you. Best behavior. 
Excuse me. Seriously? I don't want to talk. Hey. So, we got a new visitor today. Don't say anything, but man, I'd love to be out there. If you want to leave, why don't you just go? Wish it was that easy. It's scary leaving the vault. And the Commonwealth? It's all so unpredictable. It takes some preparation. I'd learn how to use a gun, and be ready to use it before I went out there. I've never even touched a gun. Now, I can't even say if our security has seen any real combat, but with the hours we're working these days, I'm not even sure where I'd find the time to practice. Why the long hours? We're just making sure this roof over our heads doesn't cave in on us. They say it's all the moving parts that have us working around the clock these days. Structurally, I guess 81 is still pretty sound. Vault Tech sure knew what they were doing when they set these places up. Well, I don't want to keep you, and I gotta get back to work. Maybe I'll see you around. No signs of radiation. Impressive. Hey, yes. Ashes. What are you doing up here? I heard we had a trader in today. Damn it. Aaron's not going to like this. Hope that Pip Boy belongs to you. Now that you made it in, we'll be keeping an eye on you. So do us all a favor and behave yourself. Mister, are you really from the Commonwealth? Yeah. Why do you want to know? I never met anybody from the Commonwealth before. I thought maybe you might want someone to show you around. Just five caps. How did you know I was here? Gran says I have a knack for finding stuff out that I'm not supposed to. Actually, she ain't my Gran. She's just Priscilla. But she acts like my Gran. When my mom and dad died, she took me in. Anyways, do you want me to show you around or not? Sure, but I'm not paying you. Okay, okay. Boy, you're a real cheapskate. We'll start over here. This is the depot. The 
Combs family run it. Aaron and I have best friends. Her mom and dad fight a lot, so I don't like to go in there when they're around. But if you need something, they're the ones that have it. What do they fight about? I shouldn't tell you this, but everyone says Mr. Combs is sleeping with Tina. Mrs. Combs doesn't know, but he's always leaving her to do all the work while he hangs out with Tina. Next stop, the Overseer. I bet you killed a lot of strange things. Ooh, and raiders. I bet you fought raiders too. The Overseer's office is up there. They're busy up there, and they do not like to be bothered. She makes rules, but she's nice. I like her. Overseer, huh? I suppose someone needs to be in charge. Well, if you need her, that's where you'll find her. Next stop, the diner. Now we gotta go downstairs. That's where the diner is. Everybody eats there. Sometimes it gets real crowded. The summer sets are nice, though. You'll like them. Hello, Austin. I see you're showing our guests from the Commonwealth around. Yes, ma'am. This is the Sunshine Diner. Grant says that they'll take all of her hard work and turn it into swill. Mr. and Mrs. Somerset run the diner. They're pretty nice. Mrs. Somerset's pies are the best. How's their food? Other than the pies. I like it. Mrs. Somerset always sneaks me seconds. I'll save you a slice of pie, Austin. Next stop, Horatio. I told you they were nice. Do you like your hair? I like mine. I hate combing it, though. Grand makes me comb it. Yes! Austin, that hair of yours is a mole rat's nest. <laughs> this is where Horatio fixes up people's hair. Aaron's mom comes here all the time. Grand hardly comes here at all. She makes me cut my hair, though. It's not fair. What do you do, my hair? Sure. He can turn your hair into anything. I wanted him to make mine look like Skull, but Grand wouldn't let him. Next stop is Grand. Let's go see Grand. I live with her. She's not my real grandmother, though. My parents died when I was real little. Austin, what are you doing here? Are you bothering that stranger from the Commonwealth? I'm not bothering him. I'm helping him. Hmm. That's Graham. She takes care of me. You can call her Dr. Penske. She acts all grumpy. That's not for real. Says you. She runs our hydroponics lab. It's where we get all our food. You don't get anything from the Commonwealth? Nope. Graham grows it all year. She's really smart. Hmm. Next stop, Miss Katie. Come on. Hurry up! We gotta go to the other side of the vault. I'll show you where I go to school. I bet you didn't have to go to school. This is the school. Miss Katie runs it. It's boring most of the time. But Grant says I have to go anyway. Your Gran is a smart woman, Austin. Are there a lot of kids in the vault? Not that many. The Overseer says that we're using population control. Whatever that is. Next stop is the medical clinic. Let's go downstairs. I'll show you the clinic. Doc Forsyth and Rachel are okay, I guess. But I don't go there unless I have to. Or unless Grant makes me. This is our medical clinic. If you get hurt or sick, 
Come down here. Dr. Forsythe says I can't bother him or Rachel while they're working. Goddamn quacks. I bet they still use leeches. I've never seen a leech. But Miss Katie told us about them. Now we go see Erin. She's gonna be surprised when she sees you. Come on, this way. Erin and I spend a lot of time together. She didn't believe me when I said I would bring you to her. Stranger from the Commonwealth. Wow. You're really from the Commonwealth? You're Austin's best friend? We've been friends forever. There aren't a lot of other kids in the vault. Thanks for doing my tour. I was so cool to show you off to everyone. Excuse me, mister. Have you seen my cat? Ash is gone? What happened? He scratched me. And I yelled at him to go away. I didn't mean forever, though. His name is Ashes. And he's the best cat in the whole world. How much would you pay to get him back? You can have my teddy bear. I've kind of outgrown him anyway. That's all? I can give you my kickball. I really like it. But I like Ashes better. Look, kid. Pay me what it's worth, or I'm not helping. You can have my silver locket. My mom gave it to me. I like it better than anything in the world. Except ashes, of course. So I'm not getting a reward, then? I'm not giving you anything! You're just a... greedy jerk! Hey, pal. Have you changed your mind? Will you look for ashes? Where do you think you may have gone? Not far. He'd be terrified. I'm sure if there's anywhere nearby to hide, you'll find him. I don't have time for- Fine! Be that way! You outsiders are mean! Hi there. Have you changed your mind? Will you look for ashes? I'll find him for you. Thank you! His name is Ashes. He's the sweetest little gray cat. I just want him to come home. that Commonwealth travel, aren't you? Ashes! Oh, what I wouldn't give for some real time off. I can't wait till I don't have to go to school anymore. Huh? Oh, you're that new traveler. You must have had so many adventures out in the Commonwealth. Every waking moment's an adventure out there. Oh my. I knew it. My kids would love to hear some of them. Would you be willing to talk to my class? What types of stories are you looking for? Nothing too violent. I'm sure they'll have lots of questions, though. Thank you so much. Hello, Katie. I'm looking forward to what you'll have to say. Hi, how are you?
you got guts wearing that pip boy in the Commonwealth. I can't believe someone hasn't tried to steal it yet. Nice pip boy. If it ever starts acting up on you, see Alexis. She'll fix it right up. Our Commonwealth guests, welcome to the depot. And pardon the clutter, I don't get much time to tidy up these days. No time? Why not? Ugh, where to begin? When you're dealing with items that are all over 200 years old, work just accumulates like crazy. Some days it's all I can do to keep my head above water. But you probably don't want to hear about all that. Let me know if you want to take a look. Do you run this place by yourself? Well, there's my husband, Halt, but once you need him, he's nowhere to be found. I swear the cat is more help than he is. He sounds pretty unreliable to me. You don't even know. So, you have anything you don't need anymore, or are you just here to gossip? I might be interested in buying or selling. Great. I have all sorts of odds and ends. The children will be very excited to hear about the Commonwealth. Keep walking, outsider. Just because you wear a vault suit doesn't mean you're one of us. Hey, Holt. So you're the new guy. I heard we let someone into the vault. How long do you plan on sticking around? Why do you want to know? I'll ask the questions. I'm the one that lives here. I have a right to know. Long enough to have a good look around. Well, hopefully that means not long. We can take care of ourselves here in 81. We don't need to be letting in every stray traveler that comes our way. I can't wait to see how excited the kids will be. Hey, Katie. This will be a rare treat for the kids. Need to check the water pumps again. The water smells funny. Sorry about the maintenance. It never ends these days. What I wouldn't give for some brand spanking new genuine vault tech parts right now. Hey, Calvin. Sorry, new guy. Not a lot of time to talk right now. I'll be quick, I promise. Ha! <laughs> we'll see about that. What can I do you for? So, there's a lot of upkeep going on right now. Hell, you could say that again. Old lady one here, she's a straight up wreck. Pretty solid for a while, easy enough to keep up with her needs, but in the last few years or so, damn, she got feisty. Been going through tools like they were going out of style, so if you got any, I'd be more than happy to take them off your hands. How much are you paying? I'd say 15 caps per tool. Overseer won't let me go higher, but I'll take as many as you can grab. Sure, you got yourself a deal. Stupendous. One less thing to bug the Overseer about. Anyway, here I am running my mouth when there's work to do. Sorry I can't talk longer, stranger. But mind the maintenance. Shouldn't get in your way, at least. Never had an incident on my watch. And I don't want to start today. Yeah? 